Knock, knock. Yeah. Orange. Knock, knock. Yeah. Orange. Knock, knock. Yeah. Banana. Yeah. Banana, you glad I didn't say orange. <laughs> now, for those of you who are familiar with that joke, you know that's not the way it's traditionally told. <laughs> but in elementary school, there's not a lot of tradition. So I get to hear that joke being worked on and transform over the course of the year and become more conventional. So thank you, because you are the public and you, and I'm a public educator, so you pay for my uh, job and, and I think it's absolutely tremendous. Um, as Einstein said, you get to a point where you have to believe either uh, nothing is a miracle or everything is a miracle. And I'm at the point where um, even the tortured evolution of that joke is really, it's really quite a miracle. Um, speaking of Einstein, one of these on the board here is familiar of his work, uh, energy and the relationship of mass and light, and uh, really the underpinnings for much of what we know about the entire universe. Uh, and that's the small formula. The larger formula is for estimating student growth in New Mexico. <laughs> Um, it's also going to be used to um, grade schools and potentially teachers, and may also devour energy and mass and life <laughs> in the universe. Um, it's part of a national program to um, take variables out of education. <laughs> I know, um, a lot of variables there, um, but they mean these kind of variables, the variables of people and um, all of the inconsistencies that people bring into a system. Um, in an op-ed piece uh, in August, some scientists and mathematicians said that um, this formula is too complex for the intended purpose. And they said that there are too many incompatible variables. Uh, but I think it's a mistake, actually, to try to improve the formula. Um, it's a mistake because we're trying to improve education and we've been mistaken for too long. We've mistaken high standards for highly standardized and we've mistaken accountability for accountancy. And this kind of formula speaks to the accountancy part of that. Um, and it's pretty overwhelming, isn't it? Um, we shouldn't spend any time, more time on this formula because it's a distraction to the real conversation of education. Um, the, the best compliment I've ever heard of a teacher was, uh, I heard a parent say, you just can't come out of Amy Lauer's class and not be a good person. And I think that's actually a, a very important part of education. Students, as it turns out, all of them are people. And, <laughs> Despite our best efforts to ignore that fact and to go through that fact, those the variables that people bring with them, the messiness, the inconsistencies, are things that teachers and students work through and grow through every year. And it should count somewhere. There are variables like abuse and neglect and um, hunger. Um, there are variables like divorce and even a death in the family. And these are inconvenient, um, but they need to be dealt with. And a good teacher deals with that, those people problems. And that's an important part of being a person. And as uh, professionals, we want to address that and, and be given credit for that. Uh, there ought to be a place where being a person counts. As Finland and other countries are building uh, people, they spend money and time in professionals so that they can then go to small classrooms and deal with students, we're building systems where we can have less qualified people go into larger classrooms. And we use standardized testing as uh, quality control. Uh, the system has become so independent of people that we have a word for it. It's teacher-proof, and really it's um, child-proof as well. In fact, it's really everybody-proof. Um, <laughs> As the nation needs scientists, uh, schools 
have done away with science, doing science, and, and started reading about science because the system required higher reading scores. Uh, we responded to a system need. As um, the number one health concern in the nation, childhood obesity uh, is out there. Schools are taking away recess so that they can have more study time so that we can improve test scores. Um, the system is so unresponsive to individual needs and is so self-serving that the health of the system is more important now than the health of the child. Um, building people uh, and, and allowing people to be people is very important uh, and really part of what we need to have credit for. Um, Einstein said the more, uh, the, the only real valuable thing is intuition. So we need people in front of students who have professional judgment and professional discretion, principals and teachers alike, who can affect faulty systems they'll always be faulty. And um, people need to be powerful enough to have some wiggle room in there to allow for that. And be independent thinkers. Um, we want our students to be independent thinkers. And so we need people in front of them who are independent thinkers. The more we try to improve formulas and standardize and remove people from what is really a, a system for humans, the more we are going to drive ourselves absolutely bonkers. Now, aren't you glad I didn't say bananas? <laughs>